Alright, this video we're going to talk about uh, some of the Farmer Tech problems. Um, they feel like it's a good time since something happened to it. We'll talk about that. Uh, I'm filming this on Monday. Today's Labor Day, so I hope everyone had a good Labor Day weekend. I'm going to post this video on Thursday. I've been I already got content coming for each day this week. Uh, so I've been trying to keep my, my content like one video every day. That's kind of been my goal. I'm trying to grow this channel and share the information that I have. Got a couple parts coming for this guy anyways, so I want to be ready once they get here. Hmm, that's quite wild. So what had happened? What happened to this saw? Uh, recoil has broke like four times on me. Recoil cord has broken four times on me so far. I guess first we'll just we'll go over what's what's happened, and then we're gonna switch out this recoil because I'm I'm tired of restringing this. I hate doing that. First of all, so I'll screw with it when I uh, get to it. You know, probably when I'm done cutting and. Uh, have all my wood ready and drying. That's when I can start working more on the saw stuff. Right now, main priority is getting all my wood that I've got cut up here, split, stacked, and start drying. That's really my main priority. So recoil cord has broke like four times on this thing. I just kept shorting, shortening it because it kept breaking right at the end. So this saw, the timing is advanced on it and it makes 200 pounds of compression. So it's kind of hard on the, uh, on the recoils to begin with. Uh, uh, the other thing that's also cracked I've noticed here is this here plastic here is cracked it doesn't affect how the saw uh, operates or anything yet but uh, that's just another thing and the other thing that's that's wrong why do I kind of blip the throttle when I'm in the or out of the cut or whatever is this saw has always had a carburetor problem so I'm on the hunt for an OEM carburetor for this this saw that's the other little thing and I'm also on the hunt for an OEM 12 mil case. I don't know if I'm going to put it in this one or put it on that other 044 there, but it's going to go on either of these two. I really need two, but if I can find one that's in decent shape, then I'll definitely buy it. Uh, so that's what I've been on the hunt for. So we're going to pull this recoil off. So I, I actually put a whole new cord this this cord that's on here was the elasto start cord from farmer tech that came with my 880 they just sent a bunch of extra cords with it uh, but this cord ended up breaking on me so really like really quickly the other one lasted longer the one that came with it it lasted a lot longer than this one so this one's pretty low quality the I guess the Farmer Tech Elasto starts are no good. The one on the 880 is kind of separated, but it's still functional. So it's still okay. So let's see if uh, this other one off this 044 don't need it on here right now because it's obviously it's in pieces. So we'll pull this one and throw it on here. Hmm. On there a little tight. Don't know what this guy was cutting with this saw but it was extremely dirty i couldn't even tell what kind of saw or what what it was I, I was hoping that it was a 12 millimeter uh 044 with the old style caps that's kind of what i was looking for back then but turned out to be a 10 millimeter so I may do a 10 millimeter build and leave it as is the piston and cylinder were fine on it i i would have no issue uh just just running that one running that piston and cylinder on it it's like a little loctite in here that's good to see since it's got that heavier piston my uh, farmer tech 440 does rattle a little bit this here is really dirty in there I haven't decided yet if I want to order that uh, Farmer Tech 460. I want to I want to build it, but maybe it's better to wait because they're always going to be the same price it seems. So maybe it's better to to wait until I'm ready to build it. I I really would like to get this wood all done, and it's just not been raining, so I really haven't had many days any shop days. 
to uh, work on that kind of stuff. So I think probably going to wait on that project. It is coming. Don't worry. But we'll have to wait a little bit for once I'm done getting all this wood. Because if I don't have all the wood up here drying, then it does me no good. Can't sell wood that's not dry. I guess some people do, but, but I don't do that. It's kind of amazing. I mean, I guess some people think just because it's wood that it's going to burn. And that if the tree was dead, that means that it's dry. And that is, that is not true. probably a little bit lower moisture content than if the tree was alive most of the time the tree dies when the sap is up so the trees are most of the time pretty pretty wet this cover will look pretty cool on that farmer tech 440 looks pretty similar to me that back there bring this one back up let's make sure that it fits got plenty of cord the cord was a little bit short on this uh, this one here too that looks like yep it looks to be good we'll put the farmer tech uh, pieces back in here and did the farmer tech not have a I guess not I guess it's a little bit different design on the newer 440s and these old 440s and while we're right here better throw a little loctite because this this dude rattles a little bit it's it almost resembles like the uh the old saws that have uh like a magnet or what's it called a pop metal case the pop metal case so it was on those now which one i think this one was the longer one not 100 percent sure but i'm pretty sure this is the longer one this is a uh, orange thread locker. Apparently, it's supposed to be a little bit better than the blue. And it's in this nice bottle, which I like that. And then, we'll just to keep everything a little bit more organized, I will put the uh, Farmer Tech cover on that still. Just loosely put it on so that all the screws don't get lost. Kind of looks pretty good with this uh, still side cover on it. Not gonna lie, but I don't know. One thing I might do is I might buy a case splitter. I think one thing, I and mean, this is just my hunch on this, but I think the um, this Farmer Tech case has a little bit of an air leak when the saw is hot, because it doesn't doesn't really run as good when it's good and hot as it does, you know, when you're, uh, when the saw isn't as hot. And I, I don't know, I'm not a chainsaw mechanic, expert person like that. So that's just a theory. Seems like I got the right screws in the right spots because none of, them, none of them bottomed out before they were tight. Okay. Oops. And since this will only take a second, let's just throw this one on here just to not lose any parts. Yeah, it does have a little bit different style chain. Uh, okay. A little bit different style uh, chain break thing here on this one. probably really breaking the rules or whatever but as far as putting a farmer tech part on a still but oh well it's only just uh, just to keep these parts from getting lost one thing I need to order at some point is like a Farmer Tech uh, screw hardware kit. I feel like that'd be a good uh, thing to have. Just to have a whole assortment of bolts and stuff. It's not real expensive, so that I don't have to buy. Because the it seems that the Farmer Tech bolts and stuff are good enough. 
I'm not gonna say that they're OEM quality or anything. I need to get one of my friends to weld this handlebar. It's cracked here, pretty good bit. I need to get him to weld that. That I think that that crack like that comes from jerking on the jerking on the handlebars when you got her pinched. That's the only way I see that that could happen. Best case, best situation is not to get yourself pinched in the first place, but you know it does happen even to the experts. It's like myself and others out there. It does happen. Look at that. That looks ugly. But that's done. Let's just see if uh, I don't want it to start in my basement here. Yeah. So I know it's gonna run, but I just wanted to just do one quick pull on it just to see. That looks kind of cool on there, to be honest. So now it's a it's a real Farmer Tech hybrid now. So that's what I'm gonna run. Gonna get the bark box. Hopefully that's gonna be in here this week for this one. It's already got a pretty big single muffler port, and this one right here is you know hardly anything. So gonna get that bark box on here. See how it runs. If it runs any better with that. Like I said, I'm on the hunt for a OEM carburetor for this thing, and hopefully that fixes those issues. But I do think that this one has a little bit of a case leak. So what I will most likely do is just get a new OEM crank. I may exper or experiment with those hybrid ceramic bearings in this one, just to, just to try them. Um, see if I notice any difference since I'm actually gonna most likely just split this case and bulletproof it so to speak kind of like a forward 60 we'll do a bulletproof uh, bottom end on it OEM bearings seal or not OEM OEM crank I guess those hybrid bearings and of course OEM seals uh, do not want to risk running the farmer tech seals because I don't want I don't want to go in there and redo this I'm not gonna save that much money to justify you know having to go back in there and do the same thing again I, I just don't want to do that I'm not I don't like working on saws that much I like cutting wood I like uh, I don't like doing things twice um, so yep I'm gonna bark box coming for this one and it probably well I don't know yet uh, I didn't order any West Coast dogs for it uh, but I bought a West Coast side cover that'll fit this one, and it, it's mainly for this 064. That's what I'm mainly going to run it on. But at some point, what I will do is I will convert uh, that one over to West Coast dogs. I'm going to cut them down, of course, so that they're not so long. I cut them down about this far. Up here, it doesn't really, I mean, probably cut them all down and kind of match this, this shape here that he's got. It seems to work good. But cut them down because I, I really don't need the dogs to be this long. These are actually the small ones. I think they're 4462 is what these ones are. But one thing you kind of will notice is that, I don't know if this is just like a bad batch or something, but they're both, they're not the same length. Like this length here is a little bit shorter on the outside than it is on the inside. I don't know if that's because it's technically for a 462, but when I come in here and grind these, I'm going to make them the same. Make sure that they're the same when I get that side cover. So I know that they're the same. It's just, I don't know, I'm just uh, OCD or, or whatever about that kind of stuff. I just like everything to be perfect the best that I can. This one, like I said before, we're gonna do a muffler conversion so I can run the West Coast uh, bark box on it. Those look the best, pretty much the best functionality. I could have got a Egan straight shot for it, but I just don't really like the way those look, to be honest. I mean, I like the, uh, the bark box looks the best. I think we all can agree that the bark box is the best looking one. Gonna do, I guess it'll be a quad port one, two, three, and then this one will be the fourth. So it'll be a quad port. This saw should be pretty nasty. Um, when I poured it, kind of already went over a little bit of what I'm going to do, but need to get a couple more parts. I want to get a pro safety full wrap for it. I'm going to throw a new OEM piston in it as well, new rings. 
it seemed that the cylinder was fine i fired it up and ran it a little bit and it seemed to run just fine um i haven't cut with it yet but i probably will do a little i'll do a little bit of cutting with this with the uh, max flow just not i'm not going to buy a max flow for it till i'm done porting and all that stuff i'll just run the cage filter off of my 880 on it because i i'll just run it like that and then at some point i'll get a max flow cover for it probably repaint both of these black and then clear coat them with uh probably that 2k clear coat from eastwood that stuff seems to hold up i've done some truck grills with it and it seems to hold up pretty good for that so hopefully it'll last a little longer than uh just some regular black spray paint like it's on this but i think that it's, I know the paint's not going to match. It's not going to match. It's not going to, the orange is not going to match this anyways. So I'm just going to do a, I'll paint it because I got two of them to paint anyways. So I'll just paint them both, clear coat them both. Because that, once you, once you crack that, um, you inject that little stuff. Yeah, is this the 2K? No, this is not the 2K. Nope, not the 2K. I guess I might not have any. But we'll get some of that. But it's got a little thing that mixes it. So it's like a one-time use. So I'll just do both filters at once. And then they should be good for a long time. One other thing about these, the Farmer Techs is the trigger and stuff does not feel as good as an OEM trigger. At, whether that really matters that much or not, I don't know. But the fit and finish on the Farmer Techs is not as good as OEM. That's, that's to be expected when you're paying one third of the price for a saw i mean farmer tech's gonna cut corners they've gotten better with some stuff but i mean it's no it's nowhere near oem quality i mean that's you know i think they're they're more after the budget the budget uh people and they make products that are good enough with a couple oem upgrades to be good enough for most people but you know production style cutting uh you just need to have a, a big, uh, you know, assortment of OEM parts to swap out because it seems that uh, it just, it'll nickel and dime you um, if you're using it a lot. I'd like to see how this one runs with the OEM carburetor. I'm just going to get one. I don't know, maybe maybe even just pull the one off of, right, off of this one. If, if I look up and they're the same, I'll just pull that carburetor off because I'm not going to work on that saw here anytime real soon anyways so i might just swap the carburetor see if that carburetor runs better on this one and then just be on the hunt for another one at some point but i don't know the saw's always been kind of like that it's always the uh, it just didn't really like the idle smooth even before it was ported but i've just lived with that you know little little problem there uh, but that's kind of why i'm kind of blipping the throttle when i'm running this one a little bit because it's just i don't know it's just kind of finicky it always has been like that maybe the case was always has a little bit of an air leak i don't know not a chainsaw uh, mechanic i can just uh i can do some stuff but i just don't have enough experience to diagnose something like that this archer chain uh i wouldn't buy one i would not buy an archer chain a little information about that seems to be okay I would buy it if I'm just cutting stumps and stuff, if I could get it cheaper than steel or organ chain. Doesn't really matter when you're cutting stumps, you just need something that, that's, you know, sharp. Preferably a chain that's a little bit softer if it's dedicated for cutting stumps and dirty stuff. So that when you do go to sharpen it, it's easier to sharpen. You, you can remove more material, create less heat with a softer, um, you know, metal in the chain. That's kind of what's you know, so if you're gonna cut stumps and stuff, I would not use your steel chains on the stumps. Save those for your cleaner wood. Use one of these cheaper chains, organ. Cheaper, softer chains. I don't know how much cheaper organ is than steel. Um, but I, I can get my steel chains. I don't know if I can still get them, but I was getting them for a dollar an inch. So a 24 inch chain, $24. And a uh, 20 inch, $20. So that, I mean, that was reasonable, I thought. So I might need to load up again before I guess inflation hits. I, I I don't see how they're able to sell the chain that cheap at this one place, but the parent I mean apparently they are. So I'm 
might go load up on another round of chains here get like six uh 624s that's what i like to use the most probably four or five twenties um and then a couple 28s that's really most of what i'm using i've got plenty of 16s and 18s for you know as little as i use those now really like just using the 20 you don't really get much more benefit from running a 18 or 16 just a few less teeth to sharpen but that's almost really like negligible as far as uh how it feels when you're actually sharpening i don't really notice really much difference uh like two or three more teeth or whatever it is uh but yeah, so I figured I'd just do a little update video on this Farmer Tech, kind of just show you a couple of the little problem things that I've had with it. A little bit, of, I was a little bit annoyed by the uh, the recoil ripping out. I mean, I just put that cord on this thing and I really haven't ran this one that much. So I would say that I've only started it maybe 10 times. It only lasted 10 starts. So got the OEM one on here hopefully this cord will last more than 10 pull or 10 you know starts uh I, my money says that it probably will but this one is it will kick back a little bit if you you know don't get it um uh, i guess i don't know it just kind of kicks back if you don't get it on a a downstroke uh when you're starting it so i kind of when i'm starting it i'll pull it over right over top that center then you know pull it over that's just kind of what i do to save the rope a little bit they always seem to break right here at the end um i don't know if pulling the cord out when i shut it down would even do anything but i don't know some point i'll put an oem or the oem a lasto start on this guy that that'd be a nice little upgrade but that's you know a someday when i'm bored kind of thing maybe this winter or something when I'm not as busy right now very busy I'm trying to get all this wood up and that's a, a lot of work so yeah so the, this is kind of a little bit of a rambling video uh, hopefully you got something a little bit of something out of it and uh, thanks for watching